robots just leveled up big time. In just one week, scientists built machines that sweat like humans, flex rubber muscles, run marathons, and even throw punches like a pro boxer. Imagine a world where robots don't just look like machines, but move, act, and even sweat like us humans. That world is closer than you think. Today, we're diving into an awesome story about a super cool robot called the Protoclone. It's the first full body robot that's built to be just like us, bones, muscles, and all. Plus, we'll talk about robots that box, run marathons, and might even do your chores one day. First, let's meet the star of our story, the Protoclone. This robot was created by a team called Clone Robotics, and they've been working hard to make robots that are super lifelike. The Protoclone isn't just a bunch of metal and wires. Oh no, it's got a skeleton made of a special material that's like the 206 bones in your body. Okay, maybe a few less because they combined some to make it easier to build, but still, that's a lot of bones for a robot. Now, here's where it gets really cool. The protoclone doesn't just have bones, it has muscles. Well, not real muscles like ours, but over 1,000 fake ones called myofibers. These myofibers work using water and air to stretch and pull, just like how your muscles help you move. Because of this, the protoclone can bend, twist, and turn in more than 200 different ways. That's like doing a super fancy dance move or reaching for a cookie on a high shelf. But wait, there's more. This robot is packed with over 500 tiny gadgets called sensors. These sensors are like its eyes, ears, and even its sense of touch. They help the protoclone see what's around it, feel pressure, and know where it's going. It's got cameras to look at the world and other tools to help it balance. So if it bumps into a table, it can figure out how to step around it. Pretty smart, huh? Now, here's the part that makes everyone go, whoa, the protoclone has a special trick. It can sweat. Okay, not exactly like when you're running around at recess, but it has a water system that cools it down. When its muscles work hard, they get hot, just like yours do, so the protoclone lets out water to stay cool. It's like giving itself a tiny shower to keep going. How awesome is that? But the protoclone isn't perfect yet. Right now, it needs a little help to stand up or walk. In some videos, it's hanging in the air, like a puppet with strings. Some people online think that's a bit funny. One person even said, it's like a robot marionette. Others say it's a big step forward because it's so different from other robots that use boring old motors. The protoclone's muscles are unique, and that's what makes it special. Oh, and here's something else. Protoclone doesn't have a face yet. Instead, it has a smooth black visor where a face would be. Some people think it looks super cool, like a superhero mask. Others say it's a little creepy, like something from a sci-fi movie. What do you think? Would you want a robot with a smiley face or a sleek visor? The folks at Clone Robotics have big dreams for this robot. They want it to help us one day by doing things like folding laundry, vacuuming the floor, or even cooking simple meals. Imagine a robot helper that never gets tired of cleaning your room. But some people online aren't so sure. They say things like, that robot looks like it's from a scary TV show. Or, what if it breaks and makes a mess? Others think it's exciting and can't wait to see what it does next. Okay, let's switch gears and talk about something totally different. Robot boxing. Yep, you heard that right. A company called Unitri Robotics is planning a big event called the Iron Fist King Awakening. It's a boxing match where two robots will throw punches at each other. They're using a small robot called the G1, which is about as tall as a sixth grader. In a video, the G1 was sparring with a human and even fighting another G1. It's not super fast yet, and sometimes it falls over, but it always gets back up. That's pretty tough, right? The boxing robots aren't perfect either. They're still learning how to dodge and balance, but Unitree is teaching them cool moves, like dancing and even kung fu. They're hoping to make the fight super fun to watch. Some people online think it'll be hilarious, like watching clumsy robots trip over their own feet. Others say it could be the start of a robot sports league. Would you cheer for a robot boxer? If robot boxing blew your mind, 
Get ready for something even crazier. Robots running marathons. Yup, in a city called Beijing, there's a huge race happening on April 13th, 2025. It's called the Beijing E-Town Half Marathon, and humanoid robot uh, half marathon. And it's not just for people, robots are lacing up too. This race is a big deal, and it's gonna show us how awesome robots can be. This marathon is super long, 21 kilometers. That's like running across your whole town and maybe a little more. Picture this. Over 30,000 human runners are signed up, and tons of robot companies, schools, and science labs are bringing their robots to join the fun. It's gonna be a giant party with humans and machines racing side by side. Well, sort of. The robots won't mix with the humans. They'll have their own path with barriers to keep everyone safe. Nobody wants a robot tripping over a runner, right? Plus, robots have different rules, like special time limits because they're not as fast as the speediest humans yet. But get this, some robots can zoom at 12 kilometers per hour. That's faster than you riding a bike down a hill. To help their metal feet handle the hard road, they wear shock absorbing shoes, just like your sneakers, so they don't break after all that pounding. Scientists are super excited because this race is a giant test. It checks if robots can stay strong, balance on tricky ground, and keep going for a long time. The road might be bumpy or curvy, so robots need smart brains, well, computers, to adapt. A director named Lee Kwan says this marathon will push robots to get better, with stronger motors, bendy joints, and clever programs. If a robot crosses the finish line without falling apart, that's a huge high-five moment. Why does this matter? Robots like the Protoclone, the Boxing G1, and these marathon champs could change our world. They're not just cool toys, they might do boring chores like washing dishes or even help at school. This race shows us the future, where robots and humans team up. But some people wonder if we're making robots too human. Would you want a robot friend in your house or would you rather keep them in a lab? It's a big question. That's our story for today, friends. From sweating robots to boxing champs and marathon stars, the world of robots is getting more exciting every day. What do you think about these machines? Would you let one help you with homework or race you to the park? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe so we can keep exploring together. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.